Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you how to use cPanel to do two things. Number one, create a email account, an email account, excuse me, and then set up a, an email forwarder to send your emails to some other email address. What I suggest what people do is you set up an email account for your particular site. So if your site happens to be killersites.com, you set one up for killersites.com. But then what I would do is then forward that email to some cloud-based email service. What's a cloud-based service? Gmail, Yahoo Mail, etc. And the reason I would suggest that is because it's just so much more convenient to have your email stored on a cloud-based uh, email service like Gmail so that you can access your email from anywhere in the world, from any computer. It's just convenient. So there you go. So I jumped into the cPanel interface for one of our sites, killerjavascript.com. The cPanel layout that you might see in front of you could be very different from this or a little bit different depending on which version of cPanel you're hosting company has provided for you. Uh, but you should be able to follow, follow along regardless. If your hosting company does not use cPanel and uses an alternative like Plesk or something else, the principles are 100% applicable. So you should be able to learn anyway. So what I'm going to look for is email accounts. I click on that. And in here it shows you what email accounts are associated with this particular um, website. And as you can see right down here, we have no email accounts. So let's just create one right now. So I'm going to call it Stefan. I'm going to give it a pass password of Stefan dash, I don't know, 33. Now, let me just do that again. Stefan dash 33. I'm just confirming. I didn't, I didn't write it properly, so try again. Stefan-33. Well, maybe Stefan-33. There you go. I was kept writing Steph. You see how cPanel responded here on the side when I didn't have a matching email address. Emails don't match. You got to confirm it, right? First password, confirmation password. The reason to use a dash and then a number after Stefan is just to keep the strength of the password uh, pretty strong. As you can see, cPanel tells us approximately how strong they think the password is. You see, if you have a password with dashes and numbers mixed in with letters and a lowercase, uppercase, it will increase the strength of the password, making it harder to break. For email account passwords, it's not as important as, say, for instance, a password to access your banking. So anyhow, so I've done this, create account, account created, so there you go. So our account is created, and with cPanel, we're able to change the password and change quotas. Quota is basically how much, uh, uh, how many emails, well, how many emails you have in terms of megabytes before the system blocks any other emails coming in. So right now, it's set to 250 megs. It uh, really depends on... Uh, the type of email account that you have. You know, if it's your main email account, you want to, may want to increase this. If it isn't, you can decrease it. Of course, when you initially created the email address, you could have set it right here, or you could have set it to unlimited as well. It's up to you. So uh, what cPanel does is it makes it really easy for you to configure your uh, software on your computer to access your email from your computer, you can just say configure email client. Client is a nerd's term for uh, email software. And you got different applications you can configure. So let's say you, I don't know, you click um, auto configure Microsoft Outlook 2000. So I just go right here. And so it basically just gives you a warning about what it's gonna do, etc., etc. So you download the file with all your registration information and it sets it up for you. If you're using an, uh, an email software that's not listed here, you can just use the manual settings that are right here. 
and it gives you everything you need to know to be able to log in and read the email. So just in case some of you smart guys are thinking you can go check Stefan's killer site, killer JavaScript email, uh, this email will not exist by the time this video is done. If I go back, now that I got the email account set up, right, we have it listed here, I want to forward this particular email to another account. So I want to forward any email that comes into this, and I want to send it to my Gmail account. So you're easily done by going back, and what you want to look for is forwarders under the Mail tab. So you click that, and what you do is you say, add forwarder. Now you notice that there's these are all empty. That's because there's no forwarders yet. So I go add forwarders. So I say Stefan at killerjavascript.com. That's the email address we just created. And then we just specify what email address you want to send it to. So in my case, I want to send it to stefan.killersites at gmail.com. And that's it. That's it. And I just go, uh, I can just hit add forwarder. Uh, and where we go? That's it. The email sent to Stefan at killerjavascript.com will now be all copied to stefan.killersites at gmail.com. And there you go. It's as simple as that. We set up an email account using cPanel and we set up a mail forwarder. And I told you why I like to mail, forward my mail to Gmail, the advantages are uh, quite many. That's it.